Now, let us look at the alarming rates of the forest growth. We, as per the Indian norms of statistics, we have in India 78.29 million hectares, which is a very large according to our calculation. 78 million hectares is very large, but India's area is 32 million hectares. Out of that, one third, which means nearly 10%. Means 10 million hectares Indian forest should be there. That is according to the National Forest Policy of India 1952. 33% of the land holdings of any country should be covered with forest. Then only the ecological balance will be maintained. But according to the statistics available for us, we have only 78.29, which is not appropriate. We need to have 33%, but in the Indian total area, we have only 23.81%. And coming according to the state forest policies, according to their calculations, in 1997, every year we are getting added of 10,098 square kilometers of land. See, when the state forest is taking the calculations of adding on the areas which are getting forestized or we are getting afforestation, but actually they are not able to bifurcate between the plantation and the afforestation. Afforestation is a place where you have to grow a forest, not a particular special plant. You cannot grow a teak plant on a large area and say this is a forest because it kills the biodiversity. So the actual fact is the state forests are taking into consensus all the land which was brought into afforestation but not in regards to only forest. So this number may not be actually true but it indicates that the land area which brought into under cultivation is increasing. That's what we cannot justify that we have sufficient amount of forest lands. So it would be right to say that forests are vanishing day by day in our country. They are getting erased from the maps of India. That is a very alarming state. So once the forests are getting vanished or erased from the maps of India, the fundamental question comes is what about the animals or the species? that are survived in the forest when the forest was full fledgedly present there. Once the forest is getting erased, what is actually happening to that species? So basing on the calculation and the statistics of International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources, we have an international body to look after all these things. Its name is International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural resources it's in short form known as iucn the iucn stands for international union for conservation of nature and natural resources they have categorized the entire flora or fauna into different categories they are broadly categorized into six different types first one is the normal species the normal species state that the amount of the animal species available are equal to the normal levels those are normal species. The examples of the normal species are cattle, sal, pine. The second category is endangered. The endangered category stands for the animals which are in the danger of extinct. From the normal level, they have fall down to a situation where there will be a danger that these animals will not be appeared for us. The examples of those animals are rhino and lion the third category is vulnerable which have declined to the levels earlier they were normal they were under the category of extinct there was a danger for them now the number has been rapidly gone down and today they are in a state of vulnerable which means they are in a state of very soon to disappear so that is blue sheep gangetic dolphins and then the fourth category is the rare species. These rare species are found in small, small populations. They are not at all found in large numbers to the normal levels. They are found in very few, 5, 10, 15, 50, 100 like that. So these animals are wild Asiatic buffalo is an example of rare species. And moving on to endemic. Endemic means only in a particular place, only in a particular spot you find that animal. That animal are examples 
Nicobar pigeon and wild pigs. When we move on to the last category that is extinct. Once upon a time they are found here. Now they are not found. Let us take the same animal like wild pigeon which was once upon a time found in the Nicobar Islands but now it's not found. Those kind of animals are called extinct animals. Example, pink head duck and Asiatic cheetah. So like this, the categorization of the animals has happened on the basis of the study of IUCN, the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. They have categorized the animals broadly into six major types basing on their availability, basing on their possible conditions of finding them. First one normal where they are found normally, cattle, salpine coming under the examples of normal categories, endangered have a threat of danger, rhino and lion are the examples, vulnerable possible to be declined or the lowest levels, blue sheep and the gangstic dolphins, rare species, very small populations available, wild Asiatic buffaloes, endemic only in a particular areas they are found, Nicobar pigeons, wild pigs, extinct once upon a time they used to be here but now we don't have that kind of animals living in that particular region so this categorization shows for us that in india also as the arisal of the forest is happening as the deforestation is on a large scale that is resulting in the arisal of the species of the animals which are found in our country if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus